What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we have an interesting topic that I want to talk about, man. This is something that came across my page that I wanted to put you guys onto and just kind of talk about a little bit. It was a little, it was wild. It was really, it was like a wild one. Didn't expect this. Came out of nowhere. Hit me like a damn RKO, Brad. I was just chilling there and then just bam, got hit with it, man. Something I never expected to see come across my screen. Absolutely came across my screen yesterday and I said, for the love of Jesus Christ, I gotta make a video about this or at least just talk about it because I think there's different, just, I don't know, levels to it, I guess, and you know, you can kind of just take it in as you will and kind of analyze it and, uh, I don't know, take it in, digest it as you will, but I want to get into this. It came across my page and I just wanted to, yeah, I don't know, just dive into it, man. Everybody that collects WWE action figures or action figures at all, it doesn't even have to be WWE, I have seen them countless times and I hope to put them in this video and kind of showcase them because I used to post them on my Instagram all the time because I would either A, come across them or people would show them to me and it became like a thing that I would share on my Instagram. Instagram every week usually man I mean it was a lot that we would see this and I am talking about action figure repacking man WWE action figure repacking at least in this instance but I've seen some crazy ones in my area I don't know if I have a picture of it but it was the craziest repack I've ever seen I, I mean people not only repacking figures man people have repacked like hairbrushes into different things before and it's just like come on Brad that can't even be real like what what are we doing here nonetheless man if you're an action figure collector or you're a toy collector or whatever, man, if you've been toy hunting, more than likely, I feel like you've probably seen these before, and as sad as it is, I'm pretty sure there's somebody that's watching this video that has probably done this themselves. I, I mean, it's definitely possible. However, today, man, we're talking about action figure repacks, man, and sometimes they can just be egregious when you come across them, but in today's video, we're going to discuss something that was posted up in a Facebook group, and I just thought it was completely wild, but anyways, let's go ahead and dive into the post, and I'll be plugging in some figure repacks and everything like that and we'll kind of touch on the different subjects i want to dive into the main subject of this video and then we will kind of digress into another thing i wanted to discuss with you guys because you guys know I, I like to get on here and just discuss with you guys find out where you are in the in the comment section hear your own personal stories things of that nature man that's what makes the channel and the community so fun is hearing from other people so let's go ahead and dive into it man this popped up just the other day here it says just for shishes and giggles i wanted to see if this could be returned as a super ultimate edition i G L M F A L, and they actually took it with no questions asked. To make things worse, the work knew about wrestling, so it's not like he didn't know who it was. Shaking my head, I don't know. And if you guys will look at the image here, you will see what looks to be a finishing moves Kurt Angle figure. It's got some interchangeable heads here. It looks like it has like a Roddy Piper, John Nada, They Live shirt in there. You got some interchangeable hands, different stuff going on. It looks like the Jeff Hardy head sculpt in there is like acetone somewhat. Like that is not the original head I don't think it looks like it's missing some paint you got, you got the John Cena like elite 76 head sculpt in there and it's in a ultimate edition Seth Rollins box and then, if you zoom in there on, on the receipt there, it is like a Target, I do believe. And they were refunded like 35 bucks for the return there. So, in this post here, it appears that this person that posted this took an Ultimate Edition action figure back to Target and just was seeing if the if the Target would take it. And to publicly post it is just wild, man. I mean, that is crazy stuff going on right there. To take the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins figure and repack some stuff. We've all seen it. We've all seen this. If you've gone into a store, man, you have seen this stuff, man, but this is something that you cannot do, man. This is not good behavior, man. This is not something that I approve of. This, this is not good stuff, man. And I don't know the entire, I don't know the lore of the situation, right? I don't know the entire history of what's going on here and whatnot, but to do this and then to publicly post about it that you did it is just crazy. That is just insanity, man. And maybe it's a troll post. Maybe, like, maybe he was just trolling or something like that. It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me to see somebody to do that in today's era of the internet. You know, you just see some wild out of pocket stuff, but to come into the WWE action figure community or just the action figure community in general and do something like this would be crazy, man. Just unbelievable, man. Just unbelievable stuff going on. And I know you guys have seen these before. The repacks, man. These are terrible. When you go in there, you find a figure that you actually want. Can you imagine going into the aisle and finding the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins, a figure that is just now hitting retail? You go in there and you look in there, it's a finishing moves, Kurt Angle, man. I mean, bro, what are we doing? What are we doing? I have seen some of the most out-of-pocket figure swaps in my 
entire career, and that was like I say entire career, like I'm some, like I'm Tom Brady of action figure hunting. Like, what am I doing here, Brad? But you know what I mean. In my entire life of wrestling, action figure hunting, and stuff like that, we've come across figure repacks. We've come across that stuff. And remember when uh, Mattel ha hasn't really fully switched? They've kind of switched a little bit, right? We got a smaller window. But when Hasbro went away from the window packaging and then went to the windowless, this was one of the things that people were the most afraid of: was people repacking figures and like you know you go to the store you find a figure that you've been searching for or maybe one that you're really excited about right you got San Diego Comic Con you see a figure you're like holy shish Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins coming out and then you go in there and it doesn't have a window you don't know what you're buying and it's like oh man this is awesome and then you buy it and you take it home and it's freaking finishing moves Kurt Angle man not a good thing and then you have the people that maybe you know your aunts and uncles of the world your moms and your granny your grandpappy nannies out there they go out and they're looking for little Timmy's birthday they're looking for little Johnny Wimwam they're looking for the John Cena action figure. They they know that he watches Roman Reigns. He's a big Seth Rollins fan. Oh my goodness, Seth Rollins Ultimate Edition. They don't know exactly what the character looks like. Whatever the case, they know the name. They can read. They see it there. Boom. Take it home. Give it to little Johnny on his birthday. He opens it up. Finishing moves 2000. I don't even remember when the year released, but Kurt Angle finishing moves Jax figure, Brad. Not a good birthday for Jimmy Winwam, is it? Not a good birthday for little Johnny now, is it, Brad? I don't think so, Brad. I don't think so. So, this is something that I had to talk about. Now, the person that shared this was Rowdy Writer Reviews, and he, he shared this, and his channel, he's got some really cool videos over there as well, but this was, this was crazy, man. I wanted to get on here and talk about this, because figure swapping, I think it is a, pr I don't think it's just, like, I don't know, I guess it is kind of a, I wouldn't say that it's, like, just a, like, a phenomenon that is sweeping the nation by storm. I don't think it's a plague, like, it's just every figure you come across is switched, but it definitely happens, man. It definitely happens a lot, and I've seen it many a time in my lifetime and it's just such a just a, a sad thing that you have to see because at the end of the day these are toys and action figures and I know they consume a big part of our lives man but if you find yourself switching action figures man and you find yourself doing this to either save money or or do these other things man you should not be collecting at all you should not be collecting man what a wild time what a wild time man figure swaps I haven't seen a figure swap in a really long time, but I saw this one and I wanted to get on here and make a video about it, but I have seen just some crazy repacks, man, and this is one of the things that I'm glad Mattel has not went to windowless packaging, because if you go to windowless packaging, you're going to see more things like this. I remember when Hasbro first went to the windowless, I found multiple figures, uh, just the boxes completely torn to shreds and the figures just completely missing and like all these kinds of different stuff, like people were getting figures uh, at the store, taking it home, there's just a rock in there, like unbelievable, man. And just the audacity, the audacity out here in the streets. The audacity of some of these guys. Just complete madness out here, man. But I thought this was so wild. So I wanted to get on here and discuss it a little bit and just t kind of talk about it, see where your guys' heads were at. Maybe you have some crazy stories down in the comment section below or, you know, whatever the hell it is, man. But don't do this. Don't don't do this. I feel like it goes without saying. But anyways, that's all I got for you today, man. That's all I got for you. I had to get on here and just kind of discuss this a little bit. And, you know, I just had to get on here and talk about this for a little bit, man. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching and tuning in. I'd like to know your thoughts down in the comment section below, as always. But if you would, give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And of course, I always huge shout out to our patron supporters on the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys, man. If you guys are interested in that, click the link in the description below, of course. But always appreciate the patron supporters, man. You guys are an absolute blast. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. I'll hit you guys later. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you later. <laughs>